The Jets have multiple first round picks. We see their first one at four. Ryan, you have them taking Kayvon Thibodeau. Offensive line could be a consideration here, and I've done that in the past. But they have Mekhi Becton. If he gets healthy, he will obviously be anchoring the left side. They have Elijah Ray Tucker, who they drafted last year. So they have some pieces there. So why not make that defense better? The edge rush position was a huge liability. It did have some injuries heading into the season. But knowing Robert Sala's background and knowing that Kayvon Thibodeau is sitting there, I feel like it would be a mistake on the Jets' part to let him get by. Look, there have been conversations over the last few weeks that maybe Kayvon Thibodeau doesn't love football or the, the coaching, he won't be willing to, to take hard coaching the next level. Uh, and I've talked to teams about that, and, and one scout came back and said, you know what, maybe we're overthinking this, because when you watch him play, he's lights out. I, is he Chase Young, or is he Miles Garrett? No, but he's not far behind, and when he's fully healthy, he is pretty much unstoppable. So I love the idea of him going to the Jets, playing with Robert Sala, getting after it on that Jets defense in a pretty tough division, and then the Jets still have another first-round pick to, to go in a direction that either helps the defense or offense, because they have two of the top 10 anyway. So uh, they can go any number of directions here. I'm going Kayvon Thibodeau because I think he's going to be really good. They could obviously focus on uh, offensive line or even wide receiver if they want to get crazy. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.